In Grumbelia, the Nefer's vineyard, the harvest for the Carignan grape variety is almost finished and promises to be a good vintage. It's excellent. We're at least at 12 degrees, 12 and a half. Mohammed bin Sheikh has been working on this 200 hectare vineyard for two decades. There is not a high quantity, but the quality is here. There was a fall in production because of heat waves and a lack of water but also because grapevine imports were limited by a quota in place over fears about the bacteria Silella fastidiosa. The sector also lacks an organization to represent it, which affects quality. Only 30% of wines have origin certifications, like those of the Neferis vineyard. We need to adopt all that little by little, and you will see that the sector will improve by itself, and the wines in Tunisia will definitely improve. The Neferis estate is producing new wines and diversifying its products to include wines with a fruitier taste and attractive labeling for a growing clientele of women. There's been an increase in consumers with the opening of lounge restaurants where there are many women customers, so we have adapted our wines to this clientele. But because of religious conservatism, alcohol consumption is still taboo in the country. Authorities often neglect developing the sector despite its economic benefits. We have many state-owned vineyards that are partly, if not completely, abandoned. I think that's a shame to leave them and not use them. Professionals see an opportunity there for young people who are suffering from unemployment, as well as a chance to boost exports by increasing yields.